to my channel. It's your girl Little Red T, aka Mama Sky. <laughs> Where is the YouTube police? Cause I need to pay my fine. When's the last time I was on here? Like probably like a month ago. I'm a disgrace. I'm a mess. I'm call me whatever you want. I have an excuse, okay? I have excuses. But today we'll be doing Skylar's four month update. And it's crazy because she's actually five months right now. But I wrote everything for her four months update, so don't worry, I'm not gonna forget anything. I just didn't have time to create a video. But now that I have time, I'm going to go ahead and do that so that I can get on track. Say hi guys! Say hello! Sky, say hello! <laughs> Let's get into Skylar's four month update. So first and foremost, Skylar can sit. She cannot sit like upright yet. She still like falls on the side. And then if she sits up, she'll be like for a few seconds and then she'll fall over. Next thing, her drooling has really dialed down a lot. She still drools, but it's not like before. Like before her whole shirt will get wet and soaked. And even though we wear bibs and stuff on her, it will get completely soaked. But right now, it's not so bad. She still drools. I don't know if she's teething, honestly. I don't know. I cannot tell. She's, I know teething will make babies sick, but it's not making her sick. So I thought when she was drooling excessively, at my three month update, I thought she was teething. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know if she's teething, but she's, her drooling has really, really, really reduced she still spits up a lot especially after eating so we make sure that we burp her after and we make sure that she sits upright you know for maybe five ten minutes before she can start playing or we put her on her stomach and stuff like that and everything still goes to her mouth if she holds your phone in fact she doesn't know anything she doesn't know how to just hold something and look at it she thinks everything goes to her mouth if she holds it she takes it to her mouth so she has a lot of like um this is her toy if i in fact let me show you guys stick look at that skylar whatever yeah but everything goes to her mouth believe me or not it's your problem but okay <laughs> Is yeah, everything goes to her mouth. So we bought her a lot of like teething toys. There's this particular one that she loves. It's a banana something something. I'm gonna leave a picture here. She really loves that one. And then she has the Komotomo teether as well. Komotomo are just I don't know. They're just everything. They're the bomb. This is her Komotomo teether. We put it on her um this thing. How you call this thing? Pacifier holder, yeah, we put it onto it so you can clip it to her dress and then it doesn't fall or hit the floor So yeah, she loves this thing. She'll bite on it and chew on it And when she does that her shirt gets wet, so we put a bib on her so that all the drool Goes on the bib. All her zero to three outfits are small. They're getting tight when we were doing um, Shopping we're concentrating so much on zero to three months not when we were shopping, but a lot of the dresses that we got because much 80% of her outfits were gifts. Like we did not really have to shop for outfits that much and we're super grateful for that. And I could not go to the mall and like be obsessed with baby dresses and buy crazily because of COVID. So I'm happy I did not do that because she ended up having so many outfits, so many cute outfits. Her zero to three months are all tight and majority of her stuff was zero to three months so it took a while for me to realize that they don't fit anymore even her dad is like these outfits are small this one is tight you need to. i'm like no she's fine she's fine but really she was she was growing out of them so we had to go out and buy um three to six months outfits yeah it looks like she's gonna run out of it pretty soon i was so tempted to actually buy it six to nine months but um three to six months fit even though i see that you know very soon she's gonna you know grow out of it next she is eating her solid the presentation recommended that she could start eating solids and so we started with um cereal 
um, is just to help her. It's going to train her to um, know how to eat. It's called something reflex where babies have the reflex to push stuff out of their mouth. And the doctor recommended it because um, she saw that her head control is good, her sitting is okay, it's not there yet, but at least she can sit up for a while. And so that's usually a sign that a baby is ready to eat. And then she, she also shows interest in eating. If I'm eating or anybody's eating, she will stare at you until you make, you give her some of it, like she's ready to taste anything. And so we don't hold back. We, we you know, I, I'll sometimes chew a little bit and I'll put it in her mouth, or I just have to have suck on it and she loves it, she will suck and drool. So she started cereal, and so because of the cereal, um, it's recommended that you mix it with breast milk. And the way my breast milk is now, right, I don't have any frozen milk anymore. The milk that I have is enough for her. So if it's, she wakes up in the morning, she eats, maybe after two, three hours, she's hungry again, she eats. I don't have extra milk to pump and keep. It's not like before where I'll feed her and then my, bo my boobs will still be full and I'll pump some and keep in the fridge or in the freezer. So I had to go and buy formula so I could mix it with her, uh, her cereal because I didn't have any extra breast milk. But actually when the doctor recommended that we can start her on solids, she gave me um, Similac sensitive. Yeah, Similac sensitive and then I think I had um, Pro Advance in the house, Similac Pro Advance in the house. So when I came back, I whipped out her formula maker. My brother-in-law and his wife gave it to us and it's super helpful. You just put the powder in the maker and you put some water in there. Distilled water by the way, that's the water that is accepted for babies. You put it in there, you put the bottle, it mixes it for you and dispenses it whether you want it warm or cold. The first day we came back, we said, oh we're so excited, you know, to give her the cereal. I'm telling you guys, in like two minutes after my husband fed her, she started scratching her face. I thought she was sleepy, but she started scratching her face. She was fussy. And then when she put her hands down, her face was red. There was a rash. She was breaking out in the rash. It was going down to her neck. I was like, what is happening? So luckily, Roland's auntie, my auntie-in-law and my auntie, they're both um, nurse practitioners. They're basically like doctors and they also, they just had babies. My auntie had just had a baby and Roland's auntie has a baby, but he's like maybe two years old. We called her and she said, oh, she probably has an allergy. Like she's reacting to the formula. She recommended us to give her medication. So Roland ran to CVS and got it and we gave her that night and it cleared up in I'm telling you, in seconds her body was back to normal, it cleared up and we stopped, we did not feed her anymore. But we spoke to Auntie Petra as well, my auntie who just had a baby who is one month older than Skylar. Her baby had the same issue, my cousin, my baby cousin had the same issue. She recommended it, she said she tried everything and it, her daughter reacted to it so she recommended this formula. Um, it's a bit on the pricey side but as soon as we mixed it and gave it to Skylar, she loved it and she could not even tell that it was formula. I even gave it by itself and she drank it like it was no problem. And so now we're able to mix it with her cereal with no problem and she is doing great. She loves to eat her cereal. Any As soon as she see her, sees her bowl, she is excited. We put her on the high chair, she eats and she's happy. Next, we started sleep training at four, probably like the last week, like four months, three weeks, I, I was so done. That night, basically after, when she hit four months, she started waking up every two to three hours, which is what she was doing when she was a newborn. Four months, she should be having stretches of maybe like six hours and then waking up every two to three hours. But no, she was waking up every two to three hours and whether you do what though, she just wanted to eat. And I was so tired, I was getting super tired. I told her dad, let's sleep train her. And he's like, no. When I told him how the sleep training works, how, you know, when she's crying, you leave her there and you go in, he's like, it's not happening. So that night I read up on sleep training. I'd really read up on sleep training. I used um, Taking Care of Babies. I went ahead and I started sleep training her at like 3 a.m. in the night. I turned up the white noise in the room so that he would not hear anything. I took her out of the snow and to her room. So in the Taking Care of Babies, she cried, cried, cried. I went in there after five minutes. I tapped her back. I shushed her a little bit. I told her she's okay. I'm right here if she needs me. And then I went out. I don't spend more than 20 seconds in the room. But then after 10 minutes, I went back in, did the same thing, came out, 
after 15 minutes did that that night she cried for probably like 30 minutes 30 35 minutes and then she finally slept the whole point is to is for her to teach herself how to fall asleep because they're so used to crying and then they know that you come pick them up or you come feed them but here you're trying to teach her that when it's time to sleep, it's time to sleep. The first few days were really hard because it was so hard just listening to her cry. But as the days went by, um, the crying reduced. She still cried, but the crying reduced. In the next update, I'll let you guys know how is, the sleep training is going so far. But yeah, right now that's all we're doing. And we're not nap training her yet, but we want to take care of the night sleeping and sorry, the night wakings before we go to you guys if you see my shirt she has drooled look i don't know if you guys can see it look she has drooled on herself she has drooled on me it's okay that's what i'm at i'm your mom who else are you gonna drool on she recognizes people so she knows her daddy she knows me and she knows uh, my sister-in-law that is staying with us right now when she sees somebody that she recognizes she'll be happy and she wants you to pick her up i think it's so cute she is munching on that teeth <laughs> <laughs> also she has stopped taking a pacifier like gradually some nights she'll take it and then at some point she just stopped taking it you put it in her mouth she'll push it out she does not want the pacifier anymore so we've thrown out all the pacifiers and all she does is chew on her teethers I'm, I'm kind of happy I didn't have to win her off of um, a pacifier because I know that it's, it can be a pain and I thought she was gonna suck her finger or something but I guess she's not She's not going to. Oh, I love when she does this. When she just puts her head on my chest. It's my baby. <laughs> she also smiles a lot. I don't know why she's not smiling today, but she has the cutest smile. Do you want to smile for the people? Say <laughs> good, 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 good. Look at your shirt, Skylar. Smile for the people. Smile. Look, look here. Sky. Mama. Mama, yeah, 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 yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. She's not having it though. Oh, it's her nap time. It's one o'clock. Yeah, that's why. I'll I'll change her after this video and then put her to sleep. And that's another thing. When I say it's her nap time, it's because I've been using this app called Huckleberry. You basically just put in the app. The time that she woke up and then it's going to count like her awake time awake time is the time that you keep her busy so when she let me okay let me explain when she wakes up so she has a schedule when she wakes up she eats after eating she has awake time awake time is for her to play change her diaper whatever and then after that she goes down for her nap and this awake time usually is between two hours to two and a half hours so if she wakes up at 7 a.m. in the morning she has to she'll eat and then after two hours like 9 o'clock 9 30 she'll have her next nap 9 30 she'll sleep maybe her naps are now like 30 40 minutes so she'll wake up let's say at 10 o'clock and then from 10 she'll eat and then after two hours which is 12 o'clock she will go down for her next nap so from 10 to 12 she plays and all of that and then 12 she goes back for her next nap so that's what we do every two and a half to two hours she takes a nap and then her last nap of the day we make sure it's two hours before she wakes up two hours before bedtime or two and a half hours so if we want her to go down to bed at seven o'clock which is recommended between 7 to 8 p.m. at her age. It's recommended that she goes to bed at that time. That's when babies are the most tired and it's easier to put them down for the night. So if she's going to go to bed at 7 or 7.30, I make sure that her last nap ends at 5 on the dot. You see, she's tired because it's 1 o'clock and the last time she was sleeping was 10 o'clock. She woke up at 10-ish. So she's tired now and when this time reaches she gets cranky she doesn't want to play she doesn't do anything she's just tired so let me let me let me hurry with this um last but not the least her hair has started growing and she lets me braid it i'm gonna attach pictures of her hair braided but once in a while i like to braid her hair i also wash her hair once a week 
and when I wash her hair then I put oil and I moisturize it and I braid it I've also been using castor oil on the parts that are not growing and they're actually starting to she's so tired I'm sorry mama it's starting to grow in let me show you guys yeah her hair is starting to grow as you can see even at the back it's all starting to grow and I'm so excited but yeah so yeah guys let me go change her thank you so much for watching today's video I'm going to make another video about my update it's been four months and of course so much has happened so I'm gonna do a video on my update and how I've been doing how I've been holding up but thank you so much for coming to this video thank you for clicking if if you've not liked if you've not subscribed if you've not shared make sure you go ahead and do that if you have any questions make sure to leave it down in the comment section for me and i'll see you guys on the next one